Hello Cancer and welcome to Soul Sundays. Cancer, it's a quick three card spread, three cards from the tarot, one card for your love energy, one for your health. And then this week I'm choosing a new Oracle deck that I've just purchased. It's from Esther and Jerry Hicks. They write about the law of attraction and this is um, a deck called Getting Into the Vortex. It's all about relationships and how we communicate with each other. Massive shout out to the Chan sisters who actually funded this. They made a, a huge donation to the channel that allowed me to buy a whole bunch of new decks for all of you um, and some beautiful flowers as well. All right, so let's get started and see what's coming up for the week ahead for you. Universe and angels, messages and guides, my higher self, I call upon you now to give me a clear and accurate reading for the sign of cancer. Please show me what they need to hear, not what they want to hear for the week ahead. Thank you, spirit. Can I please have three cards? One for their mind, body and soul for their week ahead. Week beginning the 12th of July. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Is it just the one? It felt like two. Cancer, holding on to your money. Fear-based energy. Um, thank you. You're coming up strong in your card, however, which is great. Chariot card representing Cancer and um, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I think this is showing you um, this week, Cancer, wanting to move ahead with conviction in something, um, whether that be in your finances, whether that be in uh, what it is and who, who you are and what you do in the world. Um, you had really beautiful energy last week, Cancer. It's that strong energy that you get around your birthday time when you're coming into your own. You're just kind of really balanced and happy. I see that coming through you again here. Um, we have two fours. Fours are all about stability. And it's really interesting because this week we have Mercury going direct and it's um, direct. Mercury is moving direct in your sign. So you're going to feel this uh, energy the most. It's going to be quite heavy. It's going to be pretty emotional for the next two weeks. Um, that's for Cancer, Sun, Moon or Rising or wherever you have Cancer in your chart if you're a cross watcher right now. But I just want you to know that... Um, it's all for a reason because we're closing out that Cancer Capricorn eclipses that have gone on for the last two and a half years. So that energy is shifting and changing for you. One card, please, Spirit. Um, yeah, foundational stuff, right? So really looking at your relationships, your intimate relationships, how you spend your money, probably the both um, that are entwined in between them. <clears throat> Okay, so we have the Four of Pentacles and the Chariot. Um, you know, by nature, you guys are homebodies. Um, you can have the tendency, not all of you, but you can have a tendency to hoard things. Um, the message of this week is if you can let some shit go, and I don't just mean metaphorically, like, um, you know, spiritually in that sense, but physically clean out your house and space, you will feel lighter and ready to charge ahead. Um, there is great research and study that's been proven from a science point that even when you clear your space, um, you allow your brain speak, um, the energy to, to think and move forward from a spiritual place. It comes from an energy. When you clear the space and get rid of things that you no longer need stuff that's broken, things that don't bring you joy. I mean, Marie Kondo's done a whole big thing about joy and happiness with items and they're all energy carrying. Um, you'll start to see your mood uplift and you'll have greater focus. Um, but for you this week, it's, um, you know, you could be feeling bored or stagnant in what you're doing and wanting to make a change, or it could just be about the fear of investing money in something new so that you can move forward. This is your card though. This is very strong. It's major arcana represents the number seven. This is moving forward with gusto. Some of you could be looking at purchasing a new car and you may be a bit nervous about doing that. My advice is Mercury is finally moving direct, direct. So you have the go ahead from me, but it's not the best time to actually sign the papers just now. If you can do it from the 16th onwards or even in two weeks time, like when we get to August, that would be better. Um, but I think for you, it's really around, um, what am I doing with my money? What am I doing with my savings? Am I ready to take that leap of faith and start a new business? And you're either potentially in partnership with an air sign, or this is your energy. It could be your um, rising um, coming in here and just not 
not taking shit from anyone, <laughs> you know, um, just being really like firm. Like you could be running into people this week and you're just like, look, I just don't have time for this. Sorry. I'm on my own track. I'm on my own path. I've got my own vision. I'm doing me. And, um, if that's you bloody awesome, that's strong energy. It's great. Just whatever it is that you're thinking about investing in, don't be fearful about spending that money. Okay. When we spend money, we attract it back. Sounds kind of intuitive, but it's not. Obviously, I don't mean, you know, go and spend it all on the races and be betting and gambling or anything crazy like that. But you get my point, right? Four of cups, opportunity beckons. This is in your relationship sector. So um, typically four of cups in traditional tarot speaks about boredom. Boredom with the status quo, boredom with the connection, um, wanting something new. Um, and I'm going to read it to you from the book and then I'll give you some insight with the cards around it because you also have the four of pentacles here again, right? It says, often in affairs of the heart, you may become complacent, even bored with what you have. You forget to see the magic of your interactions with others and fail to invest time and effort to maintain the human loving link. If you've been looking for a relationship for some time without success, you may be disillusioned or discouraged, no longer believing that a relationship will manifest. Your enthusiasm diminishes and you no longer uh, provide the universe with the energy needed to produce the relationship. The same is true of struggling too long to improve an existing relationship. Now is not the time for complacency. This is your opportunity to attain what you've been seeking or to improve what you have. It requires vigilance, action and enthusiasm. Lift your spirits and then look for the opportunity that will present itself and then act. Beautiful. Your soul message for your body this week is ask your body for a message. So connect in. Um, often our body will give us messages all the time and we don't listen to them. Um, I'll use myself as a personal example. I recently had a tooth pulled this week. Um, it's been something that's been um, painful for some time on and off again. And I just assumed that it was a tooth pushing through. Um, didn't go to the dentist for probably about two years, telling the truth. Um, and you know, the pain just collectively kept getting worse on and off last year. I was quite sick as most of you know, and, um, I was doing all this research about tooth decay. It turned out that I had a decay obviously, and had to have it pulled, um, that was linked to sickness and pneumonia. So it's interesting that the body was trying to give me a message to say, and I was trying to heal myself in so many other ways. And there's my body going, um, it's your tooth, your knucklehead. <laughs> <laughs> don't know why I said knucklehead, but that was what came out. Um, you need to remove your tooth. So the reason why I'm telling you that crazy, silly story is because this week I want you to connect to yourself and really listen to your body. Where are the aches and pains? Where are they coming from? Um, the niggly little stuff, you know how, um, and the way I'll give you another example of this, you know, have you have a set of car keys and, um, the way they're sitting on the keychain or the key ring is not, um, sitting flat. Like there's a, you've got a bubble or you've got something on the keychain, and it's just not sitting all flat. So every time you go to fumble for the keys, it's in the wrong way. And you, you know, it's just an, it annoys you every day, but you don't take the five seconds or five minutes or whatever it is to actually fix it. And then it would just make the rest of your day so much smoother if you did that one little thing because then the keys are easy to pick up and put into the keyhole, right? It's the same with your body here. The message here is there's something going on with you right now that's niggling. And look, you know, maybe they're telling me to give you my tooth story because you have issues with teeth and need to go see a dentist. But there's something small, something minor where your body's trying to tell you how you can heal itself this week. And the message is to ask for that message. And the message is to ask for that message. What a funny saying. Um, okay. Relationships. I don't want clarify those that I do. This is a really powerful card because, um, I think it was Taurus, maybe Gemini and um, one of the reads that I just did, but it talks about being in that state of limbo. So if you're single and looking for love and you're, you're a bit bored with the status quo and you're like, you know, when is it my time? Or maybe you're in a long committed relationship and you're just bored with the way things are. It's really interesting because that in itself is telling you what you don't want and helping you move more towards what you do. Often with relationships, what happens is that people don't understand over time that we ourselves change and grow. So the person that our partner fell in love with is not the same person anymore. In essence, yes, it is, of course. Um, but who you are, if I said to you, are you the same woman or man? If I, if I would have met you on the street today, would you be the same person 10 years ago? 
No, I highly doubt it because everything that's happened in your life has transformed who you are and so has your relationship. Um, what this card is telling you is that when you know what you don't want, you, you get more clear on what you do want. So if things have changed in your relationship and your needs aren't being met, um, or maybe you can't even tell me what your needs are, then this is a really important um, message this week to tap into that and understand so that you can communicate that to your partner. Um, it's hard to attract new love if you don't know what it is that you want. It's hard to refresh an existing love if you're not communicating what it is that you want. Um, as soon as you learn to do that, not only will you be able to increase your value to others, but you'll also be able to increase the kind of relationships and the quality of relationships that you're having. So just repeating that again, relationships I don't want clarifies clarify those that I do. All right, Cancer, that was your reading for this week. I hope you found it helpful. It's a really interesting one. You've got some good energy coming in. You're moving forward with gusto. Stay with it if you're not entirely sure. Check in with your body. Ask for that message. Um, and you know, if you haven't communicated to your partner that your needs have changed in whatever way that is for you, now's the time to do it. All right, my loves, I hope you found this reading helpful. It's a pleasure doing it for you as always. If you did, please hit the like button. It helps the channel more than you know. I'll be back with you next week. Take care.